Hey, what is up guys? Minty here bringing you another tutorial on how to get screen pumps in your videos. Um, this effect is very easy to do and looks really good when it's finished and all rendered out. So pretty much what you're going to be doing is a little bit of keyframing and using the event pan and crop tool. So first you're going to get a song with a good beat so you can sync the pumps to the music correctly. And first you want to press M on your keyboard to set a marker wherever the beat is. And you're going to do this for each and every one of them. Luckily for me, I can actually see where the beats are, so like it's 10 times easier. And actually, you don't even need to set markers, it's just to be a little accurate. And if it's not accurate, you can always go back and redo them. Alright, now that you're done, you want to go to the first marker and you're going to hit S on your keyboard to split the clip. And now you're going to do that for each marker as well. Just like this. Alright, now go back to the first marker again and hit the event pan and crop tool. And now we're going to zoom in a bit to get the little pump effect. Go to the end of your timeline and then hit default. And now your effect should be right there. And now you're going to go to that clip again right click it and then hit copy go to the last one while you're holding shift right click it again and then hit paste event attributes now I'm gonna render this clip out for you guys and I'll be right back alright I'm back now let's see what it looks like Alright, now I hope it looks the same on your screen because it looks great on mine. So if the video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.